Okay, it's John VE3 IPS. I'm going to talk about now the uh, the other components in the Pac-10 series. I uh, got really excited about Pac-10 last year. I attended the uh, Pacificon conference and I talked to Nick N1NG uh, from Pignology with some products he had and uh, him and George had come up with uh, a bunch of ideas uh, regarding antennas and stuff like that and uh, they make a lot of sense because uh, the kind of concept is it's kind of start thinking like a backpacker right so you know the mini kind of came out as a small you know lightweight kind of you know design and fed minimalistic uh, kind of approach right you're kind of being the gram weenie uh, so you don't want to pack a lot of stuff. You might be even hollowing out your toothbrushes and your code key and stuff like that in order to shave a few ounces. But if you're you're going with a car or uh, you know you got something going on in the backyard, uh, there's some different idea antenna ideas that you can put together. So you have your Hustler mobile antenna, kind of that eight foot. You got the Buddy Pole, kind of that eight foot. You kind of got your Pac-12, kind of that eight foot. Yeah, they're they're they they work. They're kind of interesting antennas. Um, but the idea is that if you want to get really, really efficient, a dipole, right, uh, is going to be more efficient, especially when you're operating a few watts, QRP, or you're running a KX3, a KX2, an 817, or the, uh, the 703 from ICOM. Uh, you also got the 10 Tech uh, Argonaut series of radios as well. Um, so the, the creative minds out in California, George and Nick came up with some ideas. Uh, they do a lot of backpacking, they like uh, operating outside in the field, and they came up with some ideas saying, how do we become more efficient and come together with some better antenna ideas? So they came um, with uh, this idea called Pactenna. So we've got a, a very thick, uh, robust uh, PC board, uh, a 9 to 1 antenna ballon. It's not your typical T200-2. Uh, the engineers got together and came out with something that's a lot more... Um, um, intuitive and parametric for the the operating frequencies that we're going to operate with. They also came with this idea that beside it being lightweight is we also have this ability of being able to easily connect the antennas to it. So what we have here um, is the 9 to 1 ballon and I have a 27 feet uh, NFED. This is the extension wire. The other one I have here is uh, 29 feet. This is the NFED. It's an optimal length. It's non-resonant. And I have the ability now to use these, uh, these little clips, able to pop that in, connect that in. Um, the other thing I, ha I would have on this, I don't have the uh, carabiner on it. I should probably connect it to it just to show you how, how it works. As I got my tag associated with this so I don't get these things mixed up. Uh, but they have a pretty ingenious idea here in order to provide some kind of a strain relief. And in this case here, we can connect this to this. Add this wire element into here. And I now have my 9 to 1 NFED antenna. And I can run this out. And uh, I could hang this off as well, off uh, my mast, or I could have it at the ground, wherever I want to connect this, uh, this antenna to, to. Now, you know, the 29 foot length's not a bad length, but probably not a good thing for 60 meters or 80 meters, maybe even 40 meters, might be a little bit shy. So this is where I have this extension length on it, and because these guys have come up with a creative idea, I have the ability now using this uh, ingenious kind of uh, connection method I'm able to connect the antenna to it and now have a 59 foot length antenna that's going to work a lot better on uh, 80 meters and this is something I call the Marconi Envis antenna. We're doing a lot of Aries work so Envis really works well in Aries. So that's the uh, 9 to 1 uh, ballon uh, for the NFED antenna style. So we can put that aside. The other thing that works really, really great is uh, instead of using a short 8-foot antenna, you'll find that a proper 20-meter um, dipole is going to work wonders. It is 32 feet, so I got two 16-foot lengths. And in this case here, I'm not going to use the 9-to-1 ballon. I'm now going to use, I could use the 4-to-1 ballon uh, in order to do that. And uh, so now I can connect that antenna and I can also add elements to it that I've made together to now make also a 40 meter antenna. So I have that capability as well to uh, put that together and uh, put together a proper antenna together. 
The other thing I can also do is I also have the uh, one to one uh, ballon as well. This is more of an RF choke, so this is to prevent if you're going to operate higher power, 50 watts or 100 watts. Maybe you're using a 706 or an 857D or an 897D Yaesu radio uh, with the built-in battery packs. You can use that in the field, 100 watts. You may be getting some uh, RF coming back, so you have the ability of using the, uh, the RF choke. So a couple of great antenna ideas here coming from the, uh, the guys from Pactenna. Uh, very cool uh, and very creative and very, very efficient. You're able to make a lot more contacts with this. Um, we had a ham radio operation out in the park uh, several weeks ago and uh, some antennas were tested out and we found uh, we had some great success, better success using a full wave dipole as opposed to using a, a, sh a short 8 foot antenna. The other thing that's interesting as well too is that we're also able to, to uh, use this antenna for other ideas. Uh, so if you wanted to do something like uh, a NorCal doublet, which is 22 feet elements, you have the ability of connecting that to the center. You also have grounding connections. You have the ability now that you can now use the ballon in order to work accordingly to the type of antenna that you're using. So some great stuff coming out of Pactenna. Strongly recommend that uh, you uh, add these kind of antennas to your kit. Experiment, find out what works best for you, and uh, get out in the field, make some contacts. 73s.